because you're nothing. You're at the bottom. You are base people because we broke God's laws. Sir. Go back to Hosea 5 and 15. Because you have to go through the death, through the afflictions. Okay? And it's to hopefully it'll help you wake up. Realize that I'm in sin. Realize that the God of this Bible is my God. You understand? And I implore any of y'all to come over here and get some understanding. Y'all supposed to be older, grown folk, supposed to have wisdom, supposed to be able to show us, quote unquote, younger men, what the hell the Bible's telling you. Right. What our God is telling us. Right. But y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all can't be the men and women, kings and priests of this Bible. Read. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge our offense. Go to Daniels 9 and 11. We have offended our God. We have spit in our God's face. Don't y'all see that? Ask yourself why you're living in this condition. But y'all don't care. Y'all love this. Hanging out on the corner, smoking drugs, do, dealing with witchcraft, because that's drugs. Right. You're distorting your mind. You know, you can't think right. Then you go lay with a sister and get, get AIDS, gonorrhea. Right. Create a baby that you're not gonna take care of. Now we got another fatherless home. Right. This is a condition that we in that y'all love. That y'all want to continue the cycle thereof. Bring it up. Read. Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Bring it up. Yay! All oh, Israel. All oh, Israel. Black, Hispanics, and Native American have transgressed thy law. Transgressed thy law. Sin. That's what it is. We have committed sin. All men sin, right? That's what a lot of y'all going to say. Everybody sin. But we are held accountable for sin. Right. Hold that. Give me Psalms. 147, 19 and 20. We are held accountable for our sins. You understand? The other nations, the most High don't care about them. Their judgment is not set forth yet for them. But they have a judgment waiting for them. When our king, the black messiah, come back. That's right. See, that's what y'all don't understand. Christ looks like you. Right. Your father in heaven looks like you. Right. But you hate yourself so much. Because the other nation, the so-called white man, Esau, has told you and taught you to hate yourself. You know they did that test back in the day, right? The doll test. What? The white doll and the black doll. Right? They had that test back in the day for the little kids. The little kids said the white doll hair is better than they have. But when our father has woolly hair like us, what the hell wrong with y'all? What's wrong with you? You hate yourself because you've been taught to hate yourself. Read. Psalms chapter 119, chapter 147, verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob. Who he show his word to? Jacob. The people that's on this sign. The 12 tribes of Israel. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showed us how to deal with one another. All right. How not to take my sister for lust. How to marry my sister and take care of my household. How to be a leader and guide my nation. That's what God gave us. All right. To know that we're above the other nations right. and they beneath us. But the roles have reversed. Three. He had not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any nation. His law, statutes, and commandments, he didn't give to them. Right. They don't have anything to govern them. All right? They have their quote unquote uh, constitution today. But their constitution, what, what they call it? The political system. Their judicial system is a bunch of bull. Right. It's hypocrisy. Is what? Right. It's out the Bible, but do they uphold it? No. It's all hypocrisy with them.
Because the laws don't apply to them. Okay, finish. He had not done so with any nation. Right, because we are the ones that's being judged for breaking the commandments. We are being judged. The other nation's not. Who running the White House? Who running all these different states? The governors, the mayors. It ain't us. And he was in ears like Sylvester Turner, because I know y'all would say that. Yeah, he was the mayor. He the mayor, right? Or the governor, right? Governor? No, mayor, mayor. He the mayor of Houston. But what has he done for us? Nothing. Nothing at all. Have he told you you're the greatest thing on this earth? No. Not at all. Read. No, go back. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Uh -huh. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing, uh -huh. that they might not obey thy voice. That they may not obey thy voice. What is God's voice? The Bible. The words that you're ignoring right now. The words that you're hating and you're closing your ears because you don't want to hear the word of God. This is what's going on right now. Give me Ezekiel. Two, that's what I want. Two, and verse seven, huh? That's what I want. Rebellious. Y'all being rebellious, and the Most High have a judgment for all y'all. That's what I want. Ezekiel chapter two, verse seven. Uh -huh. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. So that's the thing that the brother Bo, that was the name, that left Bo, right, Officer Michael? The brother Bo. He didn't want him, yeah, he don't know. He didn't want him to come out the Bible. He wanted him to speak his own words. He wanted him to be like Joel Osteen. I know how y'all love Joel Osteen. He speak all the smooth words to y'all. But when the prophets come out, you hate that. Right. You hate your brothers. You a murderer. That's what God said. Read. Thou shalt speak my words unto them. That's what we doing. We speaking God's word. Read. Right. Unto them. Whether they hear, whether you hear what we're saying, and take heed to what we're saying, or whether they will forbear. Whether you say, them niggas don't know what they're talking about. They just got a Bible, and they just parakeet not the Bible. We're not your Christian pastors. We're not out here for your damn money. We're out here to save souls. That's right. We're out here to bring you to repentance. That's right. That's right. Okay? Give me that. Matthew 4. Okay. Matthew 4 and 17. Bring it up. For they are most rebellious. You are most rebellious. You see, the most I have to continue to send the prophets back on the earth to what? Warn you. To tell you that you're evil. To tell you that you hate God. Because you're rebellious. You're like the rebellious child. Your mama keeps telling you to do something, and you just go the opposite way. Right. You do the opposite of what your mother or father tell you to do. The most I have a judgment for you. Read. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. For that time, Jesus began to preach. We are not doing anything that has not been done by the prophets before us. Read. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, repent, repent. That means you need to change your action, your ways. The life that you're living. The life you're living is not of God. Give me that in Matthew 19. I know it's more. Give me that in Matthew 19 and verses 16. We're going to see what life is. What you're living right now is not life. Read. Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? That I may have eternal life. This is the question that y'all should be asking us. Y'all older generation. What should I do to receive eternal life? This man is asking Christ that question. Y'all should be over here convicted asking the same question. But y'all rebellious. Y'all don't care. Read. And he said unto him, uh -huh. why callest thou me good? Because see, we're not like y'all. Y'all old and stuck in your ways. That means you got pride on you. Christ said, 
I'm not going to give myself the glory. I'm going to give my father the glory. Right. Read. There, there is none good but one. There's only one good, and that's the most high. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life. So if you want eternal life, if you want to see the kingdom, if you want rulership, okay? If you want service and handmaids, read. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's simple. That's very simple, but when it comes to a rebellious people, that's not simple. That's hard. That's hard as two plus two. One plus one. For a little child. Same as you, grown folk. Go back. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. For that time, from that time, uh -huh. Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But you don't want the kingdom, though. Give me Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. You don't want the kingdom. You don't want eternal life. You don't want to live forever. Give me, before you read that, give me that in Baruch. Baruch 4. Because what we're trying to give you is eternal life. It came out of Christ's own mouth. What you have to do to obtain that. But y'all are most rebellious. Because you hate God. You don't love God. Right. You hate your people. Right. You hate the generation that's going to come after you. Right. That's the state that you're living in. All right? Any one of y'all need to come up here and get this word. Come understand what God requires of you. Read. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. We keep reading the same thing over and over. This book is the book of the commandments. The commandments that God gave to you, black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Quote, unquote, you understand, you Negroes. Read. And the law that endured forever. Hello? Forever. Forever. The law that was then, back then when Moses walked, the law that he gave uh, before Moses, with Adam, to today, we're supposed to be loving our neighbor, marrying our wives, okay? Not treating them like whores, all right? Not running behind these other nations' skirts and tail. Not trying to appease the other nations. But gathering ourselves together because we love one another. Okay? Is that it on that? Read. All they that keep it uh -huh. shall come to life. All they that keep God's commandments, the laws, shall come to life. Right. You now have something to live for. Right. Because y'all, look, I see y'all out here. Y'all have no, no aim, no goal, no, 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 no nothing. No, no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No purpose, that's it. No purpose at all. Y'all have no purpose. Y'all out here chilling in your chairs, listening to the music. Right. Doing nothing. Right. When your people are sick, when your people on drugs, thank right. you, unproductive. See, what we're doing is productive. Right. Okay? We are here producing something because we have a cause, an aim, and a goal to get our people to do what? Repent. Right. Finish it. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it uh -huh. shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All of y'all are dead right now. Give me that. Uh, Proverbs 21 to 16. All of you black Hispanics and Native Americans out here, mainly black, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, okay, Y'all are asleep. Y'all are in a dead state. Because you can't see what's in front of you. Right. You can't see God's chosen people, the prophets, trying to speak to you. Trying to wake your spirit up. Trying to revive you. We got the uh, the jumper cables. What you call them things? We got the, the huh? The, the heart. The heart. That. We got the defibrillator trying to wake you the hell up. That's right. Trying to jumpstart your heart, your mind. That's right. But y'all rejected it, man. Y'all crazy. Read. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. Oh, yeah. The man that wandereth 
out of the way of understanding. Our people, you brothers and sisters, have wandered out of the way of understanding. As the officer said earlier, y'all went down the wrong path. Okay? Christ went one way, you went the other way. Right. You here in America, you choosing to follow by America's doctrine. Right. America ways. That's right. You choose to be a slave. Right. You choosing to be oppressed. Right. You love being oppressed. What's wrong with you? Wake up. Read. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You are the zombies. Y'all see they make all these movies. The Walking Dead. That's you. They're making mockery of us in these movies. In these TV shows. And y'all love it, man. Go back. No, no, not Baruch. Go back. No, go to, uh, yeah, Hosea 515. Thank you. No, I want Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3 and 17. And I'm for the give it back. Oh. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 you know. Son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel That's why we out here We are the watchmen What do a watchman do? He watch out for something or someone We are watching out for who? The house of Israel right. Our people Because you are lost and confused Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. We are here to warn you because destruction is coming. That's right. Recompense is coming. Right. Judgment is coming. That's right. So we're warning you before Christ comes back in the angels. If you don't repent, you're going to die. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.